Welcome to John Joe's Fishing, you guys. Today, I want to show you guys different soft plastics that I use, and I want to show you guys when to use them and what water clarity. I want to show you guys what colors to pick, but I also want to show you guys the jig heads that you put them on. These are probably my go-to jig heads. Down here in the south, we I, use, I like to use a 3 8 ounce, the golden eye. The reason I use these is because the shank is really, really small compared to all the normal ones that you find. See how it's a smaller shank? And when I say shank, I'm talking about the whole, I'm talking about the hook. You see the difference here? Now these are both a 3 8 ounce, it's just this shank is shorter than this shank. This is my go-to lure. This is down south lure, LaRue Salt and Sassy. Sometimes I like using this one, but mostly, like I said, I use the other one with the shorter shank. But the reason I like this one is because of the eye. You see how the eye is red? This imitates a dying bait fish. So when fish see that red eye, they think of it as blood. Now I want to kick it up a notch. Now I want to show you when to use what color. So here I have some soil. This is going to give my water a little bit of color. Trusty spoon here. There we go. Now it's starting to look like Galveston water. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. <laughs> so now let me show you why this is my favorite lure. One, this imitates almost all of the mullet that are swimming in the Galveston bays. Right now, I have my brother recording. So we're gonna ask him a couple questions. Ronnie, what color do you think you'd be able to see better in the Galveston water? Probably the yellow one. You think this one? Yeah. What do you guys think? Write the comments down below. So let's try this one first. Let's go ahead and do this red one. Wait. Now remember, this is a bait fish swimming in the water. This is actually pretty clear even for Galveston. But look at this. Which one can you see better, Ron? The yellow one. The yellow one? You yeah. See that tail? As compared to this tail? Yeah, it's more brighter. You can see that one a lot better. So now the next thing I want to show you guys is this voodoo shrimp. If you remember me talking about it in my last video, and if you haven't seen my last video, I suggest you go check it out. But if you haven't seen it, I was talking about these eyes. I was talking about the eyes on the voodoo shrimp. This, this chartreuse, this chartreuse color on the eyes, I always say that you can see it really, really good in a dark water. Now let's see how true that is. Ronnie, what do you see out of that whole shrimp? The eyes. You see the eyes out of that whole shrimp? Mm-hmm. So that's why I love this chartreuse <coughs> color so, so much. Okay, now let's check this out for a second. Now I'm gonna put on a chartreuse jig head. Alright, won't you check that out? Ronnie, what two colors can you see on this lure? The tail and the uh, the eye. The tail and the eye. I wonder how that looks on the bottom. <clears throat> Tell you what. How about we pour all this soil in here? How about we just get this Worst day at Galveston, there was just an oil spill. And it's gonna be the worst you say that either. you've ever seen in your entire life. Yeah, let's get that, let's stir it up. These spoons are about $150 at Walmart if you guys wanna go buy one. Or buy them on the channel for a lot cheaper. Or you can get a special, a Thanksgiving special today for $19. 99 isn't that great <laughs> just kidding i'm not really selling these for 20 dollars mm. we'll get them off for free oh yeah look at that honey is that looking like galveston <laughs> i don't think you can say that but okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll Here still i'll still swim in it you know what <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so the whole point of this video is me showing you what kind of ewers that i use in the water 
First one is a Hoagie's. This one is a way, way bigger one. Second one, I don't have it with me, but it's a Voodoo Shrimp. I've showed you guys this one already. I've showed you guys the package. Another one that I like to use is Z-Man. This is the Z-Man. This is the Z-Man penny, new penny shrimp that I, I like to use. The next one that I use is a Saltwater Assassin. That's this one. This is a smaller profile guy. Of course, my favorite, <coughs> Down South Lures. That's all of these right here. So now I want to show you guys, how do you know what color to use in the water? So in this dark, murky, Galveston water, what colors do you think will work better? Like this bone color or this black color? A very light color as opposed to a very, uh, not, I wouldn't say bright, but just like a tan. <coughs> so now in the water test, which one do you think you'd actually be able to see better? Which one do you think you'd be able to see better, Ron? Mm, probably that light one. You think this one? Yeah. What do you guys think? Write your comments down below. So now let's go ahead and do this. Oh, you can see both of them. Nah, just kidding. Ready? Now as we move further back. Which one can you see, Ronnie? I can see the uh, the black one. The black one? Can you see all the black around it? Yeah. Well, I can't see that because your body's next to it, but like move your body. Yeah, I can still see the black one. So you can see the black one? Mm-hmm. So guys, the whole point of this video, the whole point of this video is me showing you. Whenever you have dark, dark, dark water like this, these lighter colors, they don't really help. They're, they're not really useful in this kind of situation. But these darker ones, this is the one that I pretty much always use, the LaRue Salt and Sassy. These two right here will work perfect for Galveston water. Because whenever they're swimming by, a fish will see this. A fish will see both of these in the water. And that chartreuse tail, they'll see that. They'll see that really, really good. <coughs> the Zima New Penny Shrimp, let's see how it looks in the water. How's that look, Ronnie? Kind of dark. You can see dark. a little bit, yeah. What about now? I can see it. See? Remember the chartreuse eyes. Not even in this murky water. Let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah, you can see the eyes. See the eyes? Yeah. Even, at, even as it bounces away, can you still see them? No. And it gets closer and closer? Yeah, you can see them from right there. So mind you, this is probably about six inches with this dark, dark water. And Galveston, Galveston's not always this dark, but I just want to use it to show y'all. So from about six inches, a fish will only be able to see this about six inches away. So water clarity has a lot to do with fishing. And now these big boys. Now I have a hoagie and I have a down south. This is purple rain. And then I think this is chicken of the sea or something like that. But now look how, look how these bigger profiles look in the water. You see that tail? Yeah. See how big that tail looks in that water? Yeah. So pretty much guys, if you are fishing in dark murky water like this, this is the best tail to go for. This color, the chartreuse color is probably, your, your, this should be your go-to in the dark murky water. Now if you live in Florida, well you can use whatever lure you want. You don't really have to worry about anything. So since it is Thanksgiving, I do have something special. I said soft plastics in this one. This one's a Paul Brown. I haven't talked much about this one, but this guy can catch some big, big, big trout. Check out this guy in the water. See this? This is suspending. See how that falls? Yeah. This one will fall straight up, not like a soft plastic with a jig head on it. You can still see that in the water. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I think that brings the video for today. So I want to say happy Thanksgiving. You guys have a good one. I'm out.